everyone. Well, let me tell you a short story. So once upon a time, a boy and a girl were playing together. Now this boy, he had a collection of marbles and every marble was prettier than the other. And the boy was really proud of them. The girl had some candies with her. She was also very happy with the candies that she had. Now I'm not sure what prompted the boy, but the boy offered to give the girl all his marbles in exchange for all her candies. Now the girl thought for a moment and then she agreed. The boy gave all the marbles to the girl. But here is the catch. He did not give all the marbles. He secretly kept the biggest and the most beautiful marble for himself. But on the other hand, the girl gave him all her candies as she had promised. Now that night, the girl slept peacefully, very peacefully like she had nothing to worry about in the whole wide world. But the boy, he could not sleep. You know why? Because the boy kept wondering if the girl had also hidden some tastier candies from him the way he had hidden his best marbles from her. What made the boy restless was that he himself had hidden his best marbles and now he was worried he did not get the best candies. So this short story has always fascinated me. Now what I like to believe is that I am the girl from the story who will never hide any candy or you can say any knowledge on the subject I have to give to you. But you also need to be the student who will never take a step back in absorbing the knowledge you will be getting from this course. Hello everyone, my name is Mariam and I will be your instructor for this lecture. Well, I am super duper excited to start this fascinating journey of pandas with you all. I am assuming you already have a general knowledge of Python as we will directly jump into pandas. But in case, if you guys need a small crash course, I have put together a few Python lessons in the later sections, which you can visit anytime. In this course, we will try to cover every important thing about pandas. We will ensure you come out of this course as a panda samurai who is ready to take on any warrior that comes his way. So without any further ado, let us get started. We will start this course with our first section that is reading files using pandas. Now you might wonder why we are starting with reading files. So pandas is one of the most important data science libraries, but we need data to do anything with pandas. So the first step before using pandas is to get the data imported. In this section, we will learn how to read different types of files using pandas. But first of all, let us get introduced to pandas. So pandas is a fast, powerful, flexible and very easy to use open source data analysis and data manipulation tool built on top of the Python programming language. In fact, I strongly believe pandas is an essential package for data science in Python. It is extremely versatile and really good at handling data. Pandas genuinely makes Python a more viable language for data science just by being built in it. Pandas makes things that are relatively difficult or more of a pain in other languages incredibly easy in Python. Here is a quick question for you now. Can you guess where Pandas name comes from? Well, I can bet that many of you will be guessing from that sweet and cute panda bear. The bear is unique because of its distinctive black and white coat and which is adored by the world and considered a national treasure in China. But unfortunately, no. Panda stands for panel data that has its roots in econometry and Python data analysis. Pandas was created by Wes McKinney in the year 2008. During that time, Wes McKinney was working with AQR Capital Management. In fact, one very interesting story that goes around is that Wes McKinney had never even worked on Python before. In fact, it was only during his time at AQR Capital that he learned Python and started building what would become Pandas. McKinney made the Pandas project public in the year 2009. 
Just imagine, you learned a new programming language in a few months and then went on creating a library in that language which has become a global phenomenon. Isn't that mind-blowing? Now it's time to switch our gears from first to fifth. So gentlemen and ladies, fire up your Jupyter Notebook. In case you have not installed a Jupyter Notebook, it takes approximately 15 seconds to do so. Open Terminal. Now let's see how to install Pandas. Now installing Pandas is very easy. You just need to open your command prompt and type PIP install Pandas. Press enter and wait for the installation process to get completed. Once the installation is complete, you can import it in the Jupyter Notebook as import Pandas and then start using it. Now a very common practice while importing Pandas in the Jupyter Notebook is to alias it. We give it an alias PD so that it becomes easy to use as every time we do not need to write full Pandas. You can alias it with some other name also, but I am telling you this as it is very common for the data science community all over the world. So now that we know how to install Pandas in the Jupyter Notebook, let us proceed further and know more about it. Pandas offers data structures and operations for manipulating numerical tables and time series. Pandas allows various data manipulation operations such as merging, reshaping, selecting, as well as data cleaning and data wrangling features. This open source library, Pandas, is built on top of the NumPy library, thus providing high performance. Pandas excels in performance as well as productivity. Pandas is suited for many different kinds of data, be it tabular data, time series data, arbitrary matrix data with row and column, labels, and any other form of observational or statistical data set. I know that is a lot of theory, so let's get into some practical and see how to create Pandas series. Pandas has an inbuilt function called series that is used to create Pandas series. A Pandas series is like a column in a table. It is a one-dimensional array holding data of any type. Before creating a series in the Jupyter Notebook, let us see what the parameters inside the series function are. For this, we will open the official Python documentation site. We can see here that the series has six parameters, data, index, dtype, name, copy, and fast path. Now let us proceed further and see what each parameter means. So the first one is data. It is the data which is stored in series. The data can be an array, iterable, dict, or any scalar value. Next is index. By default, the index range is 0, 1, 2, up till n. Index range is of the same length as data. If the data is dict-like and the index is none, then the keys in the data are used as the index. Next is dtype. It is the data type for the output series. If not specified, then it will be inferred from the data. Next parameter is name. It is the name given to the series. It will be a string and optional. Next parameter is copy. It is for copying input data. It has a Boolean value and by default it is false. Now that we are familiar with the Panda series function, let us create one. Let us go to the Jupyter Notebook and firstly install Pandas. To install Pandas, just type this command and execute the cell. After installing Pandas, we can start creating our first Pandas series. Here we passed an array to the series method. We run this and check the series. And yes, our first Pandas series has been created here. We can notice that we did not pass the index names. Therefore, the default index range is given to the series. Let us create one more Pandas series. This time, we will pass a dictionary to the series. We have a dictionary D and pass it to the series method. And we can see that this time the keys are the indexes of the Panda series. Isn't this all exciting? Well, this is just the very beginning. We have a lot more to cover. 
In this lesson, we just got introduced to pandas. And now a quick recap. We learned what pandas is, how to install pandas, what its advantages are, and how to create panda series. In the next lesson, we will learn what the different types of files or sources of data sets in the world are. Till then, please stay tuned and keep learning. Bye.